Hey, I'm Vinny and this is Makeify. I have a bunch of soldering I need to do and I need to do it quickly. Uh, and all I have is this old school pair of helping hands, third hands, whatever you want to call them. And I really don't like these things. They're just very frustrating to use. Luckily, people have invented better ones, uh, but I don't have any and I don't really have time to wait on shipping for any of these things to you know get to me. So very quickly, I made this thing, this set of third hands. Very quick, very dirty project. This isn't the nicest thing in the world, but in case anyone wants to know how I made this, I'm gonna show you. I went to my scrap bin and pulled out a couple pieces of wood that I thought would work well. They happen to be Baltic Brook plywood from my previous project, but almost any decent plywood or hardwood would work. I cut one piece into a square with nine inch sides. I cut the other piece into one inch wide strips. Two of the strips were nine inches long. And the other two were a little shorter and completed the square. I glued the strips onto the square piece. Obviously you can make this whatever size you want. Uh, nine inch square just seemed good to me, so that's how big I made it. As the glue was drying, I got some 12 gauge solid core copper wire. The wire does need to be solid core, not stranded, or the hands won't work. I cut some 12 inch pieces of wire, you need to use a heavy gauge wire like 12 or, or 14. Uh, 16 gauge might work for very small parts. I stripped a little bit of the insulation off one end of each of the pieces of wire. I got some alligator clips. Alligator clips come in several sizes and I had two different sizes so I used some of both. I crimped an alligator clip to each wire at the stripped end and then solder the wire to the clip just for good measure. I'm not sure if that was even necessary for the larger clips, but I did it anyway. I ended up making four arms with the larger clips and two with the smaller clips. When the glue was dry on the wood, I drilled some holes along the top of the, the wood base. These holes were 1 8 inch in diameter, which is the same size as my 12 gauge wire with the insulation. Then I drilled some holes perpendicular to these holes, just a little bit below the top edge. These holes were 9 64 inches in diameter. I got some number 8 wood screws. I inserted the wire arms into the 1 8 inch holes, then drove a screw into the corresponding perpendicular hole to hold the wire in place. I placed the arms evenly around the base, but I drilled more than enough holes in case I ever wanted to move some arms around, which is easy enough to do. And that's basically it. At this point, it's ready to use. You can add a little bit of heat shrink tubing to the alligator clips to help prevent marring parts as you solder um, if you want to make it a little nicer. So I've done a little bit of soldering with these hands already and they seem to work pretty well. Certainly better than the old school style which I really don't like at all. There are a few problems with the design. For one, the arms are a little springy. Uh, I think making the arms shorter would help with that a little bit. Uh, this wire isn't the best at getting parts in exact precise locations, but it's not too bad. I do like the tray at the bottom. You can hold parts in there or it can catch parts that you accidentally drop. If you don't already have the wire on hand, this project might not really make economic sense just because the wire can be a little, a little pricey or hard to find in small quantities really. But I had the wire on hand and I needed something quick that just kind of worked. Uh, and so this was a good solution. 
I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to keep up to date with my newest videos. Thanks for watching. Hey, I'm Vinny and this is Makeify. So I have a, a bunch of soldering. Hey, I'm Vinny and this is Makeify. So I have a bunch of soldering I need to do and all I have is this. Oh my gosh, it broke. See, that's why these things are so terrible. Uh, this, I think, is a pretty good solution. So if you like the video, get, uh...